So, I mean, I think that, Francis, you, maybe you can say a few words about your own sense of, of, of uh, this idea of vulnerability uh, as an artist. Um, yeah, well, I think that, or I, I can speak to this kind of uh, conflict or tension between these two um, types of approaches or mentalities. And, and, and the work that is in this exhibition, the text piece, actually comes out of, I didn't write it, I'm, you know, I'm sorry, but <laughs> I wish I did. Um, it, it comes out of a novel that's written in the 30s, so like a modernist uh, novel, a Polish novel called Ferdy Dirk, and it's about a, a grown man who gets suddenly metamorphosed, metamorphosed turned into <laughs> a, an adolescent. And um, so the story is about um, this kind of humiliation, but then it's, it's quite complicated, but that, that the, the actual narrative arc of the story is not totally crucial because what happens is that at different moments throughout the novel, the author, Vitol Gombrovich, comes in and stops telling the story and starts being extremely self-conscious about how the book is going to be received. And um, I read this book when I was in art school, and the, like early 90s, with Dinkin, actually. And um, I seized on this, these passages, and I, and, and, um, this, and there was something about the way that when his um, self-consciousness and self-reflexivity um, about the notion of how something is to be, will be interpreted, which is very, it's not about doubt, it's about, um, it's about the whole process or expectation of a sort of like turning text, turning art into a kind of blur that then you can, once you know what it means, then you can have that meaning, which is, um, anyway, so this text, I'll get more to that later, but this text, um, which I've appropriated, is a really amazing um, long passage passage which gets more and more poetic and rhythmic and it's really um, fantastic. So I, I used this text to make a body of work about a year ago called A Torment of Follies which is vaguely referenced in the description of my work and what I did was to kind of like put, uh, I, I made a bunch of drawings, collages that sort of enacted that text as a kind of um, as a kind of dance, as a kind of show. Um, because I, I, I'm really interested in this performance and articulation of self-consciousness, but in a, in a way, um, you know, how that kind of self, you know, the critical distance as the kind of key component of contemporary, uh, you know, art practice, how that can be kind of embodied in a different way and in a, in a sort of theatrical way. Um, in a much more personal way, I mean. Yeah, yeah, I mean the kind of classic example of this um, conflation of, of expression and critique is sort of the Sean Landers, you know, as this, I don't know if you know this work, it's like where the, where the work is the critique, you know, they're just absolutely like smashed up against each other. And, and um, so, um, so in the work that I made here, I kind of took this sort of theatrical idea or sort of fantasy of kind of like chorus girls dancing this kind of interesting self consciousness which the text basically, I'll just read a little bit of it, if you, um, it's like... The text is in the collage. Yeah, yeah, there's another collage, there's, it's like, you know, it goes on, it's basically talking about after you've seen all the parts, how are you going to piece them together? Will you even know what it all means unless somebody tells you what it means? You know, this kind of thing, which is about sort of explication, which is in Terrancière, which I kind of want to talk about in that. But, but, but the, um, so then, and he's saying, again, it's like, I know another preface, I can't go on without a preface, which, which, um, in, in art or something, like, as an artist, you know, that, that, that there's so many kind of, um, there's so many kind of, there's so much protocol that kind of requires you to kind of do the little uh, dance next to what you've done. Kind of like right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah so um, anyway, so he, You can get up and start yeah. dancing instead of saying anything. <laughs> Everyone would enjoy it a lot. So, um, 
so, but what he does, so in this piece, uh, another preface, without a preface, I cannot possibly go on. I must explain, specify, rationalize, classify, bring out the root idea underlying all other ideas in the book, demonstrate and make plain the essential griefs and hierarchy of ideas which are here isolated and exposed, thus enabling the reader to find the words head, legs, nose, fingers, and to prevent him from coming and telling me that I don't know what I'm driving at, and that instead of marching forward straight and erect like the great writers of all time, of all ages, I am merely revolving ridiculously on my own heels. And so um, in that also he he turns the, the text into a you know, he has the metaphor about it's actually a body with different parts that have a hierarchy. Right? I see. Right. Okay, so so then I then I, I Within that initial body of work, there were sort of these chorus girls that had different costumes. And one of the costumes was this telephone, which is sort of requires the dancer to make a kind of crucifix. <laughs> you know, when I was trying, I, the costume was made to, my, to fit me. And at various times when I was wearing it or having to create, make the arms and everything, you know, it's really hard to like hold <laughs> your arms that way. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, but the idea with the phone before it was actually a uh, I want I, before it was actually a real cost. I am the that as a performer, as an artist, I am the number. Just call me and whatever you want, and then I'm gonna then I'm gonna answer your. I'm questions. gonna deliver the yeah. explanation I that am, you expect yeah, me to deliver. Yeah, it's like I am the I am the email address. I am the phone number. I am the performer. You know, it's like it's all in one kind of package there. Right. And, uh, what? <laughs> well, just, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, that, it, it, it's funny because this, this dynamic that we're all trying to do right now is exactly, in a way, the territory that this exhibition is a little bit playing with. That's like kind of like trying to pull apart. We're trying to pull apart. So right now we're in the midst of counter, countering the yeah. premise of the exhibition. Yeah. So everyone is aware of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, which is why we encourage questions. Right. The same as from that. Yeah. 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 What I was saying about the drawing, the collage, it's like that kind of that kind of text then sort of functions as kind of wall text. It's like, oh, here's the work, but it's let me go over there and read what the work means. Yeah. Right. Chicago is that font like the early Oh, it's like it's for a screen. Okay, yeah. that's yeah. a screen yeah. font. Yeah. Yeah. And there's also a picture of you holding. And, and if people haven't seen it, there's a drawing of self portrait of her in the drawing holding up the text. I mean, I find it to be a beautiful, like a very touching, almost, you know, not almost, a very touching, personal, um, you know, like testimony, not testimony, but kind of a declaration of, of anxiety in a way. I mean, of, of anxiety, but done in this kind of very graceful, elegant way, not like a hiding under the bed way, but a kind of like, here I am opening myself up, but like, this is making me nervous. This is kind of maybe not that comfortable. Yeah, but then at the same time, I mean, as it is with the government, at the same time, that's kind of like the best poetic part. Like, that's like when he's a total clown and he's being very funny. And, and so I feel like, in a way, like, I, 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 through my vulnerability, I mean, I guess, like I've said this before, it's like comedy 101, you know, like, right. go to your vulnerability and that's where Yeah. 